I started out in the oil and gas business working for Conoco. Worked offshore, onshore, and in the swamps of Louisiana. Then I went into the uranium business. I used to keep some on my desk. <laughs> Jim Tarleton has transitioned, as America must, from traditional to renewable sources of energy. Europe has basically embraced renewable energy. The United States has been a little slow to respond. Green power is still in its infancy in this country. Jim is an engineer for a company whose facilities can extract methane for electricity production from the food waste we usually send to the landfill. It's our goal to build installations of at least three megawatt capacity, which essentially will provide the power for about five to 8,000 homes. Imagine every city and town in North Carolina, powered in part by an energy that is entirely our own and a thriving green energy industry employing thousands of workers. Three megawatt plant would probably have 12 employees. Then you have the side effect. Somebody's got to haul this stuff, somebody's got to accumulate it. So even though I only have 12 employees, there may be 60 people supporting us. And you replicate that in every community across the state, and it winds up being a significant number of people. You'd have a combination of everything from a guy who's sitting in a little uh, room weighing trucks that are coming in and writing down the weights. You'll probably have a full or part-time electrician. Mechanics definitely have a welder on hand because uh, things tend to break. To a guy that's running the lab, to the guy that's running the facility that has to understand the chemical processes within the digestion facility, he's going to be a degree engineer. I mean, you'll have everything in between. Jim's career has mirrored the story of domestic energy production over the last 35 years. From the collapse of the Texas oil fields in the 80s to our dependence on foreign oil, to the growing realization that we have to find alternative sources of energy that are clean, renewable, and that will create millions of new jobs. But the reality is that America is falling farther and farther behind in the research and development of clean energy. China has 1.9 million workers in this field. The United States has less than half that. I'm Cal Cunningham, and developing clean energy jobs is a vital component of my economic plan. Clearly, as Jim Tarleton shows, we have the engineers and entrepreneurs right here in North Carolina who are ready to help lead the way. But after years of political talk, we're still not seeing enough action in Washington. In the U.S. Senate, here's what I'll do. First, we need to create clean energy business zones to jumpstart job creation in areas where complementary businesses are located and in areas that have particularly suffered from unfair foreign trade. Tax credits for businesses operating in these zones would help put construction workers and manufacturers back to work. And we've seen how jobs in the clean energy sector grow at two and a half times the rate of other types of jobs in the last decade. One million dollars invested in the clean energy sector creates three times as many jobs as compared to investing in fossil fuels. Second, I'll work for more incentives spurring residential and commercial energy efficiency. This will not only help American families and businesses save on their monthly utility bills, but will also put Americans to work installing those technologies and will improve the environment around us. Third, we need to invest more in biodiesel and other next generation fuels that can create new jobs and reduce our dependence on foreign oil. And by creating clean energy bonds, we can help municipalities make vitally needed energy efficiency improvements that will pay for themselves and more. Finally, we can pay for all of this by ending the tax giveaways for big oil and gas companies that are doing just fine, even in the depths of this recession. America needs to put its money where it counts. Investments in our energy independence, our next generation of jobs, and preserving our environment for our children and grandchildren. You can read the whole plan at my website, calfornc.com. You can also log on and tell me your story. This campaign for U.S. Senate is your campaign. It's about you, your family, and your future. And developing clean energy is the key to creating a better North Carolina. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the people of our state.